Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about something that happened 50 years ago today at 2337 West Monroe Street in Chicago. I believe that what happened that day altered the course of American history. It really do. I don't think that incident is given the credit that it should, that it should get. There was an up-and-coming activist named Fred Hampton. Many people, myself included, believe that if he had been left to his own devices, he would have created a massive impact on American society, would have created social change. We're talking Martin Luther King levels of social change. But he was not left to his own devices. What happened that day is debated by some. And nobody can really tell you what to think. Nobody can tell you this is what happened that day. But what happened that day is extremely important. And I think it's one of those things that everybody should know about. And I implore you to look into it yourself. Really look at all of the evidence. You'll come to one of two conclusions, more than likely. One is that it was just a few bad apples doing their thing. The other is that it was part of a concerted effort to destabilize and remove black leadership in the United States. And that can be disheartening. When you look at this and you think about it, you realize that if that's what it was, well, they can do that to anybody at any time for any reason. I do believe that's what it was. I believe that it was the system lashing out against those that wanted to change it. Systems are reluctant to change. And that can be disheartening for people who want systemic change today. But, rather than focusing on what happened that day, I want to talk about something else. Because even though they didn't leave him to his own devices, it still changed history. <laughs> still changed history, at least I think so. Because after this, there was a massive outcry. Huge. That state's attorney, gone during the next election. <laughs> And uh, I think it was that moment when black Americans realized how much political power they had. It wasn't too long after that, Chicago had its first black mayor, Mayor Washington. I think that had they jerked him out of bed and said, hey, this is what we're about to do to you. But this is what's going to happen. He would have been all right with it. Because I think you can draw a direct line from the events of this day to getting rid of Hanrahan, to the first black mayor in Chicago, to the inauguration of President Obama. I think. Hampton would have been okay with that trade. And I think that we all need to realize that it doesn't matter how much the system resists it. When an idea's time has come, nothing will stop it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.